Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. Before you do anything else, like, subscribe, and activate the notifications by clicking on that bell down below so you get notified each time I upload a new video. So we're still on Picasso. If you haven't seen the other videos I did with the Blue Period, Rose Period, and Cubism, go ahead and check those out. So Picasso was quite the ladies man. There were a lot of women in his life, and all of them he depicted in his paintings. His first wife, her name was Olga. She was a Ukrainian ballet dancer. And with her, he had his first son, Paolo. After Olga came, Marie Therese Walter. Now, he was 45, and he met her when she was 17. And they had one daughter together by the name of Maya. And then after Marie Therese came Dora Mar. She was also a painter and a photographer. After Dora Mar came Francoise Gilot. I don't know if I said her name right. Probably not. But she was also a painter. And they had two children together. And so today we're going to draw Frank Coyce Jello at this image that you see here, which Beyonce took a picture next to at the museum. So this painting was, was not a painting, it's actually a drawing. It was done in pencil and charcoal with crayon shading part in the hair. And he met her when he was 61 and she was 21 years old. So after they separated, Picasso discouraged galleries from showcasing her work. So he was kind of like, a barrier because of his mass influence he was able to you know get galleries not to show her work so the costume wasn't very nice to these women <laughs> so today we're gonna draw her so grab your pencil and this is actually gonna be very simple so let's get started all right so the first thing we're gonna start with are the eyes I'm gonna start with a smiley face if this is the half of your paper slightly above that and then you are going to Draw a side face above it. So when you get to here, this line is going to continue down because it's part of the nose. And then right here, you're going to go in a little. And then you're going to come back down, which is just part of your... I forget what it's called, Cupid's Bridge? So you're going to make a line through this to make the eyelid. And there's a line right below it. This part right here. And then a circle inside for the iris. A smaller one for the pupil. Now let's go to the other eye. Same thing, make a smiley face. Side phase over it. Make it past this because then the eyebrow, the eyelid will connect over here. And then a circle for the iris, the pupil, and then there's a line down here. Now, this bottom part of the nose, it's right about this line you make. So right here, you're going to go up a little bit and go all the way up. And you want to extend it out to make the eyebrow, but I want to make the eyebrow with a thinner pin just because I want to draw it in every hair. I'm going to make this a little different. So over here, also uh, make a line. And then right here, make a letter L. In the other part of the cupid's bridge. And it actually connects to this one. And then there's, this comes down, and there's another line here. And then right here will be the lips, so you draw a little U, and then you bring it down, and extend on both sides. Then a smiley face for the bottom lip, and then through the center, you repeat the same shape you made on top. And then the chin. Now I'm going to grab a pin to make the eyebrow. This is, I just want every hair in there drawn out. So I'm just going to start and then just add hair after hair. 
and you just keep going until you get your desired eyebrow shape. So I think I like that eyebrow there, and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. There you have a second one. I know it's not like what Picasso do, did, but I kind of want to do my own thing with it. So there's that. Oh, and she has like a mole right here. So now I'm going to grab the Sharpie again. And her hand is like leaning on her cheek. So you go right here. Bring this down. And then you're going to bring it down all the way to the bottom of the paper because it is her hand, her arm now. And then right here, I guess it's this part, you're going to go up to make the head. You're going to make a line across. Now you're going to bring this line down here. This is her hair. So then right here, go down her arms like this, and then here's her cuff. Maybe she's wearing a shirt. And the lines don't matter because it's very linear, it has a lot of lines, so if you make one, just make another one next to it. If you don't like it, you don't really you don't have to erase. And her hand is very exaggerated. Curve up. And then there's the lights for the fingers, which you can only see one, two, and then this would be the third one. Now from here, you're going to go out. From this corner, you're going to come down. Oopsie. From by her cheek, bring it in. From here, go up. So then you're going to add lots of lines to create um, the hair. You can either add a lot or a few. I'm gonna do lots of them but with pencil, charcoal, pastel, sharpie, watercolor. I want there to be a variety of lines, variety of mediums. But first I'm gonna lay down just like the preliminary lines. So then this one goes down. Right here. So you can add just really lines anywhere depending on what kind of hair you give her. Here it curls out. Come up here, bring it up. And it just depends where you want to make that hair, how you want it to flow. So then the more you add, the more it starts sticking shape. the line at the bottom. So yeah, so just add as many lines as you want. Actually here I think the more you add, the better it's going to look. So, but that's basically the gist of it. So now I'm going to go in here and just add lots and lots of lines. So let me go do that, add the lines and color, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. I want to make it my own, so I'm not going to make it like Picasso's, but this is the initial inspiration was Frank Goy's Picasso's wife, Picasso's baby mama. <laughs> anyway, let's be, I'll be right back. 
So I'm done, and this is what it looks like, my version. I added red lips and I made her eyes blue. I don't know what her eyes are in real, were in real life. I like the blue, I like the contrast with the red, and just give her some brown eyeshadow. But I really like it, I like the drama and the line making. There's actually, uh, there's ink, there's pencil, there's charcoal, there's pastel, there's watercolor, there's acrylic. And yeah, I, I love it. And now, you know, my favorite part, which is <laughs> taking off these tapes. I really, really enjoy this part right here. So that's it for today's tutorial. If you like this or any other stuff that I've done, DM me via Instagram. I'll leave the link down below. Or you can shoot me an email. And that's all for today. Make sure you watch all the other content in my channel. And until next time, adios, bye.